students, and welcome to your lesson on vectors. Here to instruct you on this fascinating topic is your teacher, Mr. Tiddlywing. Hey, you dropped the cue again. So. You're supposed to be following the script? I already told you, I don't like being scripted. Now can we get this over with already? Fine. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm here to teach vector algebra to you fools. Wait, what? Miles already taught it to you? Dang it, beat me again. Well, you need to know this stuff for your final anyway, so we're going over it again. First off, you have to know how to write vectors in standard form, and then component form. Standard form goes like this. To put standard form into component form, you take the coefficients of v1, v2, and v3, and put them into angle brackets, like so. For example, if our standard form equation is v equals 2i plus 7j plus k, then the component form will look like this. You got that? You'd better. Now, the next thing about vectors that you need to know is how to find the dot product of two vectors. Let's say we have vector u and vector v. To find the product of the two, you take the product of u1 and v1, add that to the product of u2 and v2, and then add that to the product of u3 and v3. For example, if u equals 3, 2, 1, and v equals 3, 3, 3, then u dot v will equal 3 times 3, plus 2 times 3, plus 1 times 3, which ends up being 9, plus 6, plus 3, which adds up to 18. As you have noticed, the dot product is a single number. This is important for other things, but we won't be going over those. The next thing we have to go over is how to find the cross product. The cross product is written in this form. Basically, to find the standard form coefficients, you take the determinants of the 2x2 two two matrices that you can get from this 3x3 three three matrix. Let's use these vectors to illustrate. And this is what you get when you take the cross product. The final answer ends up being negative 3i minus 8j minus 3k, or negative 3, negative 8, negative 3. As you have no doubt noticed, the cross product is a vector. This is also important, as it helps us with our next concept. One use for the cross product is to find a vector that is orthogonal aka parallel in three dimensions, to two existing vectors. Now a couple last minute things. Two vectors are parallel if they are scalar multiples of each other. For example, if vector A is 1, 2, 3, and vector B is 2, 4, 6, they are scalar multiples, because if vector A is multiplied by 2, it equals vector B. On the other hand, two vectors are orthogonal if their cross product is equal to the zero vector, or zero, zero, zero. All right, that wraps it up for vector algebra in 3D. My work here is done. Now you had all better ace that final, or so help me all. Okay, well, thank you hey, very much, you Mr. Tiddlywinks, for that fascinating yet. lesson I on vectors. I thought you were the one who was complaining about Join not us next time as we begin huh? our journey into hey, the wonderful realm of... Mr. Hayabani, <laughs> body voice. If you don't stop interrupting me, I'll put this vector straight up your... <laughs>